But I imagine that this would be a town that, if you did invest, you know, we've got a grow shop, so obviously people smoking weed here. Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks, and welcome to the city of Ferrol in the northwest of Spain. We're going to have a look around this city, I'm going to do a walking tour, add some commentary, so uh, let's go and check the city out. So let's start the walking tour around this city around 66,000 people so it's not a small city it's not a big city either but it is a city that has seen better days and as we go through the city we'll talk a little bit about the history and no doubt we'll see more buildings like this one here which could use a coat of paint so let's have a look over here over here we've got some type of military building because the Spanish Navy has a big presence in this city. Some interesting architecture over here. We'll check these out. And we've got street works. And that's one thing that I've noticed in the time that I've been here is that they are doing street works everywhere. Now, I'm gonna to try to find the center of the city. Somebody loves Anton which is a common name here in Galicia, Anton. So let's go up here and see the center of the city. And as I said, they're doing works everywhere. I don't know why, maybe the mayor is recently elected and he's putting his plan into action. I've got no idea, but this is what we've got going on. Works everywhere we go. We'll keep on walking up the street here. Now, Galicia, if you're not familiar with this area, it's in the northwest of Spain. It sits on top of Portugal, and it's one of Spain's 17 autonomous communities. And it's a, a lovely part of the country, provided that you get good weather, which is what I've got today, fortunately. Another example of one of these old houses here which has been abandoned and uh, not a lot going on here. 55 looks to be in action but this one here next door number 53 has seen better days. So somebody famous was born here in this house on the 30th of October 1910 Ricardo Carballo Calero writer, linguist and a defender of the Galician culture was born. Let's keep on going up. As I said, to try to find the center of the city. Good luck here, this bloke driving. I wouldn't want to be doing that. Hola, señora, para el centro? Por aquí? Sí, 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 por aquí. Y después doblar toda la derecha y toda la calle hasta el final. Gracias. Hay mucha obra, hay mucha obra, ¿no? Sí, hay este trocito y después más adelante. Está también. bien. Pero si no suba por esta calle. No, que no, por aquí. No me... hay obra. Ah, bueno, no por hay obra. aquí mejor. Sí, sí, sí. De acuerdo. Suba por aquí y dobla a la derecha, subiendo todo por arriba a la derecha, la primera a la derecha. Muy bien, gracias. Y, y ya todo al final. Gracias. Ok, ahora vamos a tomar un diferente camino al centro, que es uphill. So I might have to stop to catch my breath, not sure. Depends on how fit I am. Very quiet, I will say. And so we go up this hill. Now apparently when I get up to the top here, I've got to chuck a right, and that'll take me to the center. And we'll see if there's any historical buildings in that part of the town. Let's have a look. Okay, now there's a big park here. I don't know if I'm going to go up there, but I'll walk up here and see what's going on. And I think there's an emblematic building up there in front of us. We'll check that one out. Looks like a church. Crossover. Yeah, that looks to be the centre of the city up there in front of us. And that's where we'll head. So Galicia, one of the 17 autonomous communities in Spain, four provinces in Galicia. I've done videos in other parts of Galicia, Vigo, Pontevedra, 
Coruña, Lugo. Orense is the only place that I haven't done a video in, so I'll get there one day. But this is one of my favorite parts of Spain. I've said that a lot, and I'll say it again. Okay, here we go. We're starting to see some history. The typical church in this part of the world. And we've got the views down there of the shipyards. Another interesting piece of architecture there in front of us. So we'll keep on going down. And we've got some views over here of the shipyards, I think, or a military base. Looks to be a military ship there. Spanish Navy, as I said, has a big presence in this city. It's one of the main places in Spain where the Spanish Navy has a big presence. Another place is Rota in Cadiz, Cartagena in Murcia, and also Madrid. Those are the three big naval bases for the Spanish Navy. And a lot of people here would be associated to the Spanish Navy. And people that work in shipbuilding, I imagine also, because when you come in, you can see all of the infrastructure for that shipbuilding industry, which I don't know if it is important as it used to be, the shipbuilding industry in Spain, because over the years, of course, globalization has changed the shipbuilding industry, not only here in Spain, but in other parts of the world as well. We'll go for a walk over here and get a view of the of the harbour. Hold the camera up. There's going to be naval history everywhere you go here in Ferrol. So we'll keep on walking down here and have a look at that statue. See who that statue over there is of. And also this monument here. Let's have a look. Again the Spanish Navy and that presence here. So what have we got here? Well, the plaques have been taken off, so I don't know who it is, but basically up there it says something about the patria. Can't see much else because it's not very clear. Let's go and have a look at this statue over here, see who it is. Go over there enjoying a few beers. 11 o'clock in the morning, day like today, who can blame him? All right, who's this? Anybody know? I've got no idea, but probably an admiral back in the day. I'll hold the camera up, get a view above those trees if I can. There's some type of information over here, let's go and have a look. Uh, Ruta de Construcción Naval. And here we can see the history of Arsenal is the story of the city of Ferrol, Spanish monarchs of the Age of Enlightenment, Felipe V, Fernando VI and Carlos III promoted the construction of this great arsenal and shipyard Real. Ferrol became the capital of this military department of northwest Spain and also one of the first industrial cities of Galicia. This large space is proposed to be World Heritage Site by UNESCO. So there we go. Proposed to be a World Heritage Site. And from what I'm picking up on here, it's a quiet city. Not a lot of people around. But spectacular nonetheless. Especially with the great weather that we've got today. And I've got this nice little park here with these old trees. nice walkway through here and I'm sure this would be a place where people from their city I'm not sure what the people of Ferrol are called this is where they would come and sit down and take in those views and we've got somebody doing that over there views of the shipyards so this looks to be one of the main streets but I'm gonna take a left here and work my way up to a street that has a lot more businesses on it rather than that street there. Well, to be honest, I saw some people there drinking beers and I don't know what they're up to, so don't want to go down there with a camera. Now, Hilly City, as you can see, 
which is a characteristic of a lot of cities here in Galicia. They're hilly because everything runs down to the to the Rias. All right, this is the main strip, I think, one of the main streets. Graffiti, lotteries, chemist, closed businesses. Not a lot going on, very, very quiet. Another park down here by the look of it with big palm trees, which you'll see a lot in the north of Spain. In Asturias, I've seen a lot of these palm trees. And here also. So we'll see if we can find some activity in this city. Let's have a look. We might be able to get a view of the harbour from here. There we go. A nice view of the shipyards. All right, here's the park, Camino de Santiago, kilometer 112558. So that's how far it is to get to Santiago de Compostela, 112 kilometers. I imagine that a lot of pilgrims would pass through Ferrol. We saw some on the way, backpacking on their way to Santiago or on their way somewhere else after arriving or having arrived in Santiago on their way out again. All foreigners, people coming from the States, other European countries to do that uh, walk of St. James or whatever they call it, the Camino de Santiago. That's really put Spain on the map for a lot of people over the last 20 years or so. Now, another typical church in this area. The architecture very similar. Go and check this one out here. Again, magnificent constructions overlooking this park. Rua Dolores. This looks like a pedestrian street. It is Zona Piatonal. And the church here with the massive doorway. There we go. Let's go up and check out this park. Statue here with a seagull sitting on the bloke's head. A few people out having a coffee this time of the day, enjoying the sun. So as I said, you wouldn't often get this type of weather here, this time of the year, I don't think. At least 25 degrees Celsius, which is what it is at the moment. So, what do we got here? El Pueblo del Ferrol, a su ilustre hijo. Blah, 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 blah. Can we see who it is? I don't know if I can see a name there, but anyway. Here's the statue of this guy. And the birds have had a field day on this bloke. And I reckon that these houses around here, around the main square, these would be some of the most expensive flats or apartments in this city, I would say. Because the views of this square. Let's keep going down this pedestrian street here and see what else this city has to offer. I read somewhere online that this is a city with a lot of hidden gems. So we'll see if we can find some of those hidden gems or we're out and about walking today. There's that church again. Let's go down this pedestrian street. Have a look at the view there of the rear. And back down here. Let's go. Again, the graffiti, typical. What do we got here? Got the Galician flag. Días de subversión, días de disidencia. So that's a political protest. Ferrol or die. Obviously the nationalists here. We've got more political graffiti over there. Galicia also has a nationalist movement. It's not as full on or heavy 
as it is in Catalonia or the Basque Country, but here's the political party that represents it, the Bloque Nacionalista Galego, BNG, BNG. They, I think, are in power in the town hall here, but don't quote me on that, or in Santiago, one of the two. Not sure whether they're in power in Santiago or here, but they do have municipal representation, not, not so much at a national level. In the last elections, they only got one seat in the parliament, so they don't have a big representation nationally, not like the Catalans or the Basques, a lot less. Let's keep on going down here. Corte Inglés, outlet. There's a very strong smell of cheese, I think. Well, I hope it's cheese, because if it's not, it absolutely stinks. I'm going to say it's cheese, but it might not be. Now, there's another building down the end of this street which looked interesting. Another building there that's seen better days. I think that was a cinema back in the day. We have to keep in mind that this city is not in its best moment, I don't think. It has seen better days, especially when that shipbuilding industry was in full flight and the Spanish Navy was a lot more important than it is now. Okay, let's go up here. We can see some interesting houses. Now, I'm just gonna get off that main street because there's a lot of people. And as you guys know, I don't like to film too many people. I try to blur faces. And that's because of Spain's strict data protection laws and also privacy laws so you've got to be careful recording people's faces this is a secondary street here not pedestrianized so you've got to walk down the footpath here or sidewalk so I'm going to go into the into the center of the street look at some of the businesses escape room don't know what that is empty business there butcher shop here let's see what they've got burgers packaged meat and i reckon that's some type of ham let's keep on going i want to head to that building down there that we can see the, the dome top that's where i want to head so we'll head down there. We'll see here to my left, if there's anything interesting. No, another one of those palm trees, which as I said, are quite common in this part of Spain. There's no pedestrian crossings here, so if you're on foot, cross at your own risk. All right, let's keep on going. Hair salon. Again, the typical buildings in this part of Spain. We saw them in A Coruña, which is not far from here, where the balconies or the terraces are enclosed with this uh, glass work, obviously to protect from the elements. And we've got another pedestrian street down here. La Bola de Oro, Churro Shop, also closed. I imagine these are businesses that didn't survive the pandemic when things were very, very tough in Spain due to lockdowns and things like that. Things were not easy for businesses to survive and stay open. This one here on the corner has Cafe Dulcinea. Yeah, so what I'm seeing so far, I like this city. It's calm, it's not busy, it's uh, a pleasant walk. There are some things to see, and there's some nice open spaces where the locals can come out and enjoy their afternoons, their mornings, or whatever. Now, what do we got here? Palacio Municipal. So this could be the town hall building, not sure. 
Don't know, I think it is. Es el ayuntamiento este edificio. Gracias. So it's the town hall building. Impressive. And it's been kept quite nicely as well. Again, the typical buildings. And here's this building with a dome on top. I'm not sure if it's the one that I saw before. Actually, there's two domes on the top of this one. So let's go and check it out. Praza de Armas. There we go. What is it? Let's have a look. Biashes Galitur Travel Agency. Let's have a look at this building here. What is it? A memoria de Benito Morado Falcón, Sacerdote. So obviously a church. And let's be honest, a lot of the historical monuments are churches. The Catholic Church has the money to keep them in good nick some of the times. So this is that pedestrian street again, which has a lot of the businesses on it. So I'm going to go around, I'm going to go down here and then head back up and come back around, I think. I'm going to see if I can get a view of the harbour. Now apart from the shipyards and the military industry here, the other thing that people do is work in services. All of these shops here, service industry, very strong, and also some other types of industry, I believe too. But that's what people are doing in a city like this. Not as dynamic as Coruña, obviously. Coruña, four or five times the population. It's uh, Monday morning around 11 o'clock and there's quite a few people out and about taking a coffee, walking around, doing their shopping, whatever people do in Ferrol. Now we'll head up here, things have died down a bit, not as busy. This part of this pedestrian street, people head down to where the coffee shops are in the, in the middle of the street rather than here. Another business that's closed, formerly a bakery, coffee shop. Done and dusted. Another one here, closed. Cerrado por melancolía. So it is sad to see these businesses closed. This one looks to be done and dusted as well. It's obviously not enough clientele to keep them open. But here, Café Avenida, it's a different story. The Café Avenida. Alright, let's keep on going. Oh, the Municipal Library. This to be a fairly impressive building. As are some other ones here. So let's check them out. See, so this is another type of square. different buildings. Radio station over there, Cadena Cope. Yeah, okay, so again, buildings here look quite nice. And a square that I imagine lots of kids come and play after school or at weekends here in the main square. So the Biblioteca Municipal and there we go. Now, I'm going to go up a main street that I saw before. So let's head there. Now here we have a plurilingual school, Compañía de María. And that's obviously because here in Galicia, not only would people learn Castilian Spanish, but they'd also learn Gallego, and I suppose English or another foreign language as well. Maybe French, maybe German not sure but uh, a plurilingual school there whereas in Madrid you would only get bilingual schools so people learning three languages from school here 
in Galicia, or at least to that school. Not sure if all schools are teaching in three languages. Now I've moved out of the main downtown. This is more residential, this part of Ferrol. Let's see, there are supermarket, Gadis, which are big here in Galicia. English school there for the locals so that they can fala ingles and a more modern construction over there. Now I want to find some views of the harbour of the Ria if I can. So that's my objective now. I'm a little bit lost to tell you the truth but it's not a big city so I should be able to find my way back to the car so we'll keep on going down here and if all else fails I'll just ask somebody if there is a place here where you can get decent views of the harbour so this looks like to be one of the main strips again a little bit more activity here main highways Cross over if we can. So I think I'm getting close to what I want to see. So let's see if we can find it. Now I've just asked if there's a place where you can get some decent views from where I am here. I was told no because there's walls up everywhere. But there might be one place here. That I can sneak a peek through the wall. So this looks to be an area that's seen better days. Old houses, run down houses here and it seems to be that the closer you get to the port the more you see this type of building here for example that's been abandoned. So we're down here and see but obviously they've put up walls around this city to protect it in the past from people that wanted to invade Spain. This would have been a, a place that people thought about invading. We can see down here that this is a, a rundown neighborhood. But I'm going to go down that street in a minute and check it out, but let's go down here. And yes, indeed, there's walls everywhere. So I'm not going to get my wish when it comes to views, unfortunately. So walls all around, can't get a decent view of anything. So we'll go for a walk down this street here, Rua Carlos de Ferro, which let's be honest has seen better days. If the buildings aren't in rack and ruin, they've completely fallen down, which is the case of this one here. I wonder how much it would cost to do up a place like this. A pretty penny, no doubt. But I imagine that this would be a town that, if you did invest, you know, we've got a grow shop, so obviously people smoking weed here. Grow shop. Out of the way. I imagine that's why that business is there. Yeah, so here's this one here, completely knocked down. Obviously because of the humidity, these buildings need to be constantly upkept, otherwise they fall down. But this place has got a real bohemian vibe to it. It's a shame that everything's in rack and ruin. I could, I could imagine some hipsters moving in here, opening some coffee shops and making this a really trendy place. Is this another mm, interesting little old business? Thinny duplex, shut down also. So this is an abandoned part of the city I think. More closed businesses, even though up there that's been done up, that house. But the business downstairs didn't survive. So yeah, interesting. The city of Ferrol, Rua Espothimina, and we're coming back down to a busier part of the town. And there's an example of that wall which is just blocking everything where the shipyards are. 
so you can't see anything. People are not paying for views here. Here's a business that's in uh, action, Maison Lolly Hospedaje, so they've got accommodation as well. What do you pay here for a menu? Let's go and check it out. Caldo, sopa, entre meses, cocido, 11.50. Decent. I saw one yesterday in Coruña for 10.50. That's one of the cheapest minerals that I've seen for a long time. But anyway. So here you can see that these walls are blocking all the views. There's uh, former state businesses down there, I think, associated to the Navy. There seems to be some type of cathedral or religious building over there. But these residents here would be a lot more expensive if you didn't have this big ugly wall here which uh, belongs to some type of ship building firm, I think. And that, from what I've seen, is a characteristic of this city. But I'm sure there's a part of the city where you can get good views of the harbour, but I, on this short visit here, haven't been able to find it. And there we go, another church. Half past 12 it is. More houses there. Let's go into this park now. I'm going to work my way down to the cathedral or whatever that religious building is. So let's go down there now. Now for people up to speed with modern Spanish history, and what I mean by modern Spanish history is the Civil War onwards, uh, this city is the birthplace of the former dictator here in Spain, Francisco Franco. And uh, apparently the house that he was born in is also here. I'm not going to go there. And I'm not really interested in any of the history associated with uh, that part of Spain, to be honest. I'm sure that some people do find his home, and I'm sure that some people do go there to uh, pay respects to, maybe they consider him to be the greatest leader that this country's ever had, but uh, obviously I'm not from here, so I can't have an opinion like that. So I'm not gonna go there, but this is the birthplace of that gentleman here in the city of Ferrol. Uh, I'll leave it at that. And no, this is not a statue of that person. Now, as I said, we're going to have a look at the cathedral. Apparently, it is a uh, co-cathedral, which means that it shares something with another cathedral. I'm not an expert on the Catholic Church and all of its traditions and buildings and symbols, so I don't really know what that means. But we're going to go and check it out because it is something to see here. But I'm going to turn the camera around here first because I found a really interesting street. As we can see here, another pedestrianized street that if this was any other city, it would be absolutely packed with tourists and interesting bars and restaurants and life. But uh, here, it's not the case. It's quite quiet. And this street here also. A fantastic little walkway. Again, I don't know what this city would be like if it's pouring with rain, because those Atlantic storms hit cities like this with a vengeance. The rain comes in sideways and those storms roll through quite frequently in the winter months. But spring, summer, autumn, you can get some decent weather here. And again, I'll say it, fortunately, that's what we have today. Now, Ferrol, unfortunately, is not on most tourists' map, I don't think. For the more adventurous tourist, yes, people that are coming to this part of Spain have a curiosity with this part of Spain. This was the first part of the country that I came to many, many years ago. Not here, but in the Rias Baixas, so I'm familiar with Galicia. But more people should come to this part of Spain. The majority of people are attracted to the beaches on the east coast of the country, the south of the country, the Mediterranean, the islands. That's what the country has sold over the years. But when you come to a city like this, you are in for a real treat and off the beaten track Pilgrims, yes, you will see pilgrims, but you're not gonna see a lot of tourists. And for me, what can I say? An absolute pro that you can come to a city like this and not have to share it with thousands and thousands of tourists. At least not at this time of the year anyway. And here's a monument that pays tribute to the people from this city that died in the African war campaigns back in the day. There we go. And here's the co-cathedral, another massive symbol of the Catholic Church in this part of the world. 
Let's have a look. Con Catedral de San Xiao. Let's have a look from the front. What this building's like. Again, renovation works going on here too. And just my luck, renovation works going on at the Co Cathedral. But we'll try and take it in the best we can. And we can see the renovation works being done there. So I'm going to wrap this video from Ferrol up. A nice city, I would say, especially if you get a day like this to visit. If you're in this part of the country, some nice areas. It's not uh, overly busy with tourists, which is a pro. It's not a flat city, so you're going to have to walk up some hills. But uh, I would recommend a visit to this city. Hope you guys have liked the look around. I'll see you in the next walk around video. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the video out as you normally do. If you've been here, let us know. If you want to come here, let us know too. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. See you in the next one. Hasta luego from Ferro.